E3 here. Some of you might know me as Ethan. You could say my soul's name is E3, embodied, empowered, and ecstatic. So, I'm going to share as much as I can because there's pretty extreme pain right now. It's been like this for around 11 months from the brain surgery to radiation, chemo, grand mal seizures. If you've never had grand mal seizure, I am very grateful to hear that because they are extremely painful and dangerous and exhausting for the whole system. Uh, an infection formed in the head, head surgery to clean out the infection in February 2020, but they didn't take out the plate that was in there from brain surgery, so the infection didn't fully heal. And the infection came back in around April 2020 and grew stronger until September 2020, which is where we're at now. And I just had another head surgery a few days ago to cut out the skull that was infected to take the plate out that was infected and to clean out any areas of the surrounding the brain membrane. I don't know the technical term, but the area just outside of the brain tissue, clean out that infection. The next day, cut tissue out of my abdomen and replace the dead infected head tissue. Then now I'm on antibiotics for around four to six weeks. After that period of time, I'll have another head surgery to open up the head put in a new plate that's clean, seal it up, heal, and go from there. Um, so that's why I can't make videos that are too long. And there are a lot of other limitations with the extreme pain. Um, but what I want to share is that this is just an extreme example of what a lot of people are going through. See, I'm lucky. I have the opportunity I've had the opportunity for the past 11 plus months to face every fear, every escape pattern routine, uh, every what I call passive machine mind energy. The passive machine mind is the part of our being that acts out of fear, that acts automatically out of disconnection from ourselves, that's limited that is disconnected from our unique vibration, which is our creativity, our connection with source. You could say that's our superhuman part, the part that's connected to the greater um, love in the universe. So these past 11 plus months, I've had the opportunity, blatant opportunity in the form of a tumor and all these physical and other challenges to face what has taken years to manifest. It's not like this tumor came overnight. It was at least, I mean, you could say it started from childhood when I became disconnected from my unique vibration and then different food, thought, and energetic patterns created the tumor. Uh, but a lot of people have these, you could say they're energetic tumors or maybe they're in physical form. Well, a lot of people have them and they're not in physical form. These disconnection patterns and these fear patterns. So I feel lucky that I have consciousness of what's going on. It's better to have that than have something going on that's not good and we're not aware of it. So part of the reason I'm making these videos is with the positive expectation that I will fully heal not only will I heal, but I would, will be healthier and happier in all ways than before the glioblastoma diagnosis over 11 months ago. That's the vision that I have. That's the dir direction that I'm going. So, we all have the opportunity to face pain, to face death. A lot of us have put that off for a long time. So now is our opportunity. Uh, I could say more, uh, but there's just pretty extreme pain and talking too much adds to the pain in the head. Uh, but that's where I'm at, facing the pain each day, facing the limitations, and choosing to stay connected to what I call my unique vibration. Some people call that love or the heart or spirit. 
So choosing no matter what to stay connected to that, to stay, you could say, uh, stoic in my own way. Because I believe and I know from experience that if I am negative, if I am anxious, if I am acting from fear, if I'm disconnected from my unique vibration, I am quite literally feeding negative entities in the universe. Sometimes they can be seen with their eyes and often they cannot be seen with their eyes, but it's very draining for the system to feed the negativity, to feed the fear, to feed the disconnection patterns. But on the opposite end, we could feed the love, feed our connection to Great Spirit, feed the truth of who we are just as we are, and then we are home. So I'm wishing you the best wherever you are, asking my angels to bring you and your sphere of influence lots of positive energy through your breath, positive energy through your mind, positive energy through your body, positive energy through your life path. And with that, May this prayer go out to all human beings on all realms, and all energy beings on all realms. I am embodied. I am empowered. I am ecstatic. And may you be as well, just as you are. E3 here, wishing you well.